All right, here is a 230 watt solar module from the salvage yard. This is completely busted. It was a warranty replacement. So when you look more closely at these and get down to it, there's really not much to them. There's basically rows of solar modules wired up in various sets. Basically an aluminum frame, some glass coating, and basically it all comes together through the back. It has zero power output. Uh, here's the back here. You can see it's marked failed. Usually what happens when these things fail is that they're just swapped out by the manufacturer and new ones are put on the roof. And the old ones can't really be recycled, so they're just tossed in the dump. And there's very little to these things that can actually break. So let's see if we can get it back up and running. The modules are all wired up together to come out of these two leads. And so I did check these. This is measuring zero volts. So this is getting absolutely zero power output. So I'm going to have you pry it open the case here. And this actually was all completely covered with some sort of silicone. I had to pry it all out here. And underneath it all, you can see that basically all that's here is three shot key diodes and the leads that connect all the panels together. So I disassembled the wiring bus here and so now we just have these two leads uh, with all the diodes in between. So the next step will just be to desolder the diodes, get some new ones in there, and we'll see if the panel can output any power. Right now after prying out all that silicone and desoldering the leads, we can actually access the individual terminals of the rows of panels. So what's actually going on here is there's three rows of two that are connected in series and those come out to the leads here and then each section is isolated by a shot key diode. So now that we have everything taken off here, we're just going to measure the voltage in between these leads. When we measure the voltage here between each point, we can see we get about 11 volts between each set of panels, so the output seems to be working as expected. So it looks like we're getting approximately the right output voltage when we combine each section together. So next we can see what happens if we get some replacement diodes and see if that fixes the problem. So I've started to remove these cheap standard diodes that were originally part of the solar panel assembly here. Um, looks like it's been fried. So I picked up a few of these Schottky diodes. These are 10 amp, 60 volts. And I'm going to finish taking the old ones out and replacing these, and we'll see how they work. So I have one of the diodes here taken out of the solar module. Um, just to give you an idea of what happened, um, so this diode looks like we have zero, close to zero resistance both ways. So it looks like this diode is completely shorted out, which would explain why we're getting no voltage across the panel. With all of these diodes shorted out in a row, it's just linking all the cells together, um, basically bypassing all of the power generation and the voltage output. Um, so we're going to go ahead and replace these with newer diodes and uh, see how that works. So through this process, it's important to understand what the bypass diodes are doing and how they work. Um, so instead of trying to draw a diagram, uh, I found a good YouTube video that does a pretty good job. So I'll just link to the description in the video and you can check it out yourself. Uh, it really does a good job of summarizing exactly what the bypass diodes do and how they function in different situations. All right, here's the completed panel 
with the diodes installed and all cleaned up. Let's see if it works. And we'll just test the open circuit voltage. Looks here it should be around 36 volts. And we're reading about 33. Now this is in line with another panel I have that's exactly like this. They both read the same uh, today. So it looks like it's giving the expected voltage output. And just a quick current check here is we're outputting about five, almost six amps. And that is comparable to the other working model we have. So it looks like this one's back in order. Now we have it charging our battery. And there we go. We just saved a $300 solar module with $5 worth of parts. Good as new.